Tomorrow, the U.S. Congress is set to vote on a bill that would penalize cities that protect undocumented immigrants. Lawmakers have attempted to pass similar bills like this in Texas, none of which have passed into law. Fox 14's Anna Wernicke from our Austin Bureau has more. Supporters of the Sanctuary Cities bill say that this is a way to protect U.S. citizens from people entering the country illegally and committing crimes. However, the people who are against it tell me that the bill put forth will actually do more harm here in Texas than good. Suddenly a shot rang out. Kate fell and looked at me and said, help me, Dad. Jim Steinle wants to keep other parents from going through what he has. Investigators say earlier this month, a man deported five times back to Mexico, murdered his daughter Catherine in San Francisco. The U.S. has suffered a self-inflicted wound in the murder of our daughter by the hand of a person that should have never been on the streets of this country. Jim Steinle testified before Congress regarding the so-called Sanctuary Cities bill. If passed, it would withhold funding to cities that fail to comply with federal immigration laws. It's a hot button issue, but it's not a comprehensive solution. Immigration lawyer Matt Trevina says the bill would create more violence. The problem is that that intimidates people from cooperating with the police. But any action would be too late for the Steinle family. We feel if Kate's law saves one daughter, one son, a mother, a father, Kate's death won't be in vain. In Austin, Anna Warnicke, KCIT, Fox 14 News. State Senator Charles Perry says he supports this bill, saying, quote, this is an issue of public safety and rule of law. We cannot continue to fund government entities that undermine our state and federal immigration laws. In